Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Unity Craft. You might be wondering, uh, Ripsy, how do you have a uh, diamond pen, diamond boots, an elytra, and, uh, well, all this stuff. Well, this isn't actually too much, but especially this one over there. Well, Access Gaming and at at 7 uh, turned me around for a little bit. They gave me some gifts to quote-unquote start with. I don't know what these guys start with, but to me, uh, Iron would be fine as well, but you yeah, know, I'm not complaining. And I'm here collecting uh, a bit of wood, well actually this should do it just fine, to create a little bit of a starter base right over here. Ah, this is my parrot. Uh, I haven't named them yet, but if you do know a good name for this guy, let me know in the comments below. So I think uh, this part over here is a pretty cool spot. We got a spruce forest over there, and as some of you people might know, that is my favorite type of tree. And this jungle woods over here look really nice with the vivid green. I think that looks uh, very good when building. And also these cliff sides next to this beach area over here. I think we can do something really cool with that. My plans for the base uh, are a little bit weird. As you can see over here, we got a Roman slash Greek Asian build type mixed with Tuscan, Victorian and Gothic uh, aspects in there as well. And just a bit of my own uh, special flair inside of that. I'm not really sure how it's going to look uh, exactly, but I reckon we will be fine. Also, we got the showcase over here uh, as well. Ads and access. Thank you for that. But I'll be collecting uh, some stuff because excuse me, over here we got a shulker full of stone and some other stuff as well from uh, the guys. I also cleared uh, a bit of space over here. There were some trees and leaves and those are all in here and also in there a little bit. But uh, I don't think we actually do have enough materials to start creating our first starter building, which uh, I am thinking could be something like a fishing duck, uh, fishing house with a little tower. I can kind of see it in my head uh, right over there. But for that, I do also need some sandstone and maybe some terracotta. That would be nice. Whilst I'm collecting some materials, I'll show you guys uh, a bit of the tour footage that I have taken. I didn't really record my voice in that footage uh, the correct way, but it might be a bit off, but at least you can hear me speak. So I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. This is my base for now. Yeah, he's got a lovely western town. There's little easter eggs all over the place, backyard area right here. It's lovely, it's lovely, it's like Canada. I'm gonna turn my pants off, there we go. No, put that back on, you can have one piece of sugar cane. One. Aww, oh, that's so you need to get a kick out of that. <laughs> right on your face. And we come on upstairs. This is the oh. first office level, this is where we do the um, business and ads labs. Sorry, I was distracted by the cat castle. Now, Ribsy. <laughs> What I'd like yeah. to do is offer you a, um, a deal of a lifetime. I... <laughs> what I'd like to do is offer you an association with AdSubs. And what this basically means is that AdSubs will share its wealth and resources with you as you need. You know, give you, we give you, you know, that, oh, we can give you some food, we can give you some blocks, we can give you whatever you need. And, and in return, all we ask for is your loyalty. And basically, just if you ever help out in AdSubs, if you ever we need a request for, you know, a um, collaboration video or, you know, work on a build. Uh, if you ever want to go like mining, then I can come with you with that kind of thing. And also, if you have any redstone that's spare, if you have any redstone you're not going to use, then we'd like um, th then we'd like you to offer that to us if you you know if you want it. You don't have to, but you know we like the redstone. So just your loyalty and you know, collaboration for in return you get resources and also you get to you know come visit the lab and also you get shelter in the okay sleep on table. You can also <laughs> if there's ever in a case where there's like an apocalypse or something or there's like a meteor coming down, you can come hide in the bunk with us and you'll be safe and sound. Everyone will be happy. And what do I have to do for that? Um, <laughs> all, all, you, all you have to do is just collaborate with Adslabs, um, claim your loyalty with Adslabs, and also if you have any spare redstone, then you can give that to us. Can I read that book? Um, I haven't actually written it yet, I'll run it right now. <laughs> um, so I've just gone through five iron shovels, and uh, yeah. That should be enough. So in the tour you did sign a CB sign a contract and I'm sure nothing bad will happen from that. Uh oh. Hello! <laughs> Hello. Hello Rubzy. Hi. How you doing bud? I'm, uh, I'm doing great. I just collected some materials for uh, trying to start my base but yeah, oh, you're here now. <laughs> so. Yes, um, also um, to, to, to celebrate you on the server and also just to give you a layup, I brought you a gift. Hey, let me go get it. I'll be right back. Wait, should I come with you or should I just uh, stay no, no, here? Stay there. I'll bring the gift through for you. You'll, be able, you'll see it appear. Hang on. All right. Okay. Just get yeah, guys. This is gonna be great. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is exciting. Come on, up, 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 up. 
up. Wait, is it an animal? Hang on. Come on. Get up. Do it through like this. Up there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pink sheep. I bought you a pink sheep, a genuine pink sheep. This is an actual pink sheep. It's an actual spawn pink sheep. But anyways, um, today you're going to be building your house, are you? Yeah, but uh, I'm thinking maybe we could do something fun with ad slab or prank access oh. or something. <laughs> Boy. Well, actually, um, you haven't seen my laboratory level yet, have you? It's still unfinished right toward you, didn't I? Yeah, I haven't seen that. Well, we toured around for a little bit, but I don't think I've seen the laboratory. Well, I've almost finished the laboratory, and I'd like to show it to you, Mr. Rube. it's fun. Okay, well, let's go. Over here, we've got my meat tree. <laughs> well, okay, so what kind of crazy things that you do? Synthetic vegetarian meat tree. It's growing meat. No animals killed. It's a vegetarian option. It tastes delicious. It tastes just like meat. Got all the nutrients and proteins and, and vitamins and minerals needed in meat. But it's completely vegan. So you can say it's plant based. Yes. If you've got um, Adslab's filtered water, uh, you, you can um, get, uh, it goes through a charcoal filter, really sophisticated charcoal filter. You come over here and it gets you some quality, some clean, some fresh Adslab's oh. filtered water trademark. That's gonna be nine nine nine. That, that's fresh. <laughs> Wait, uh, you can have the bottle back. Thank you. It's gonna save um, me about fifty cents. Yeah, it's a fifty cent deposit. <laughs> um, the main, the main thing for the for this for this lab is this machine over here. Let me show you this. This is cutting edge technology. Watch this. It's the Uwu machine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, you Uwu? I saw this and I thought it was going to be like a nice dance floor thing, but no. No. How long it's have you been good. flicking this lever? I've 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 spent ever since I built it. I've just spent. Okay, so by any chance, do so you have puffer fish? Uh, puff, puff, puff fish. Um, uh, yes, got two in this chest right here. <laughs> Actually, got, oh wait. Hmm. We kind of need them in a water bucket. Um. Oh. Okay. Um. So that well, we can mess with people on the server. <laughs> they'll be like, oh no, oh no, and we'll be like, haha, and we'll be like, oh no. Oh, oh, oh there is one. I. There's Wait, two over here. Yeah. There's two. Come here, come here, got one. Are we only gonna have two buckets, or do you want to make more? Well, it depends on who you want to prank. You want um, to prank everyone? <laughs> um. Well. But, um. No. Ah! We could put it just right under the church. <laughs> Ooh. Right over here. In there. In that one. There you go. Ouch. And then. Actually, uh, we need to here. place it like this. All right, right, place the Ouch. door. Okay, that works. That's that that's works. good. That, that's, that's how we have to do it. That's let me actually let, let me eat first because I'm actually going to die otherwise. Yeah, okay, it works. It works. Oh, no, no. Yeah, okay, we got it. We got it. Two, one, go. Quick, quick, <laughs> quick, quick. Three, two, one. Okay, it 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 works. It works. Ouch! Ouch. Hey, KP. What is that? That brick thing? Yes, that's right. Nick more. I hope you're enjoying this. Ads wrapping session in, Ru in Ruby's um I'm in just, Ruby's I'm video. Going to oh, edit ads, ads all things. out. Yippee! So after meeting up with ads, it is time to finally start building. Uh, I got, I think, all the materials right over here. So I think it's time to make a Roman Greek Tuscan Victorian Gothic style uh, fishing house over there. Uh, I'll do this in a time lapse with the replay mod, so I hope you guys enjoy. Wow, making this pickaxe cost exactly the amount of XP I had, so that's cool. The house is almost done, but we need some materials that I do not currently have at my base. And I'm also going to buy some golden carrots as well. There we go, some red dye. And I'm also going to need some terracotta, but I'm not sure where to find that. Maybe at Perry the Platypus. Oh yeah, one thing I love about these stores uh, when you come in. Amazing.
And you know what? Why not take two more iron block stacks? Maybe there are some terracotta blocks at Aces blocks are us. But it doesn't seem like it. No. We might just have to mine some, but I think that it's just fine. Alright, got a full stack of red and regular terracotta. That should be enough to finish the build. Oh yeah, by the way, I named the sheep blue. Because... I thought that was funny. And there we go, I think that actually looks very nice. Let's actually take a look at this house with shaders on to see how that looks. Wow, look at that, isn't that nice? I think it actually looks uh, quite amazing. And I think I've actually, uh, well, it's it's not all of that, it's not a Roman, Greek, Tuscan, Victorian, Gothic style. But I think I've got the uh, upper two lines completed in here. And then also with a bit of the more modern look with like the whole fishing duck area. Over on the ducks I used some uh, fancy gates as well so you can open them up and try to go fishing. And I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't really detailed it out uh, just yet. I did do the shading, also used uh, some iron ore even to kind of uh, fade it in from the stone to the granite. And I think that actually works quite nicely. It's a bit weird but you know, I'm going to keep it and I think I'll get used to it. So as you can see, I still need to do the windows and also some window seals. And well, there isn't a door and stuff yet and no interior, but I'll do that on, in between episodes. So that will be finished in the next episode. Sadly, we're out of time for today, so I will finish this episode right now. If you like this episode, please make sure to leave a like. I'll surely upload some more Unity Craft in the near future because I love it so far. Uh, my name is Rupsi. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye.